Hey everyone, so Melissa here with Alex. Today we're gonna be installing this barricade brush bar, grill guard, whatever you wanna call it. I'm keeping the paper on so we hold it up against the car. The shipping will not, will help protect against damage on the car. Um, I will also be trimming my valence. I know a lot of people buy the tremor valences, but we will be trimming this one down to fit the brush bar. But we will also go over in case you're installing and you don't wanna trim your air dam, that valence that uh we'll go over that as well so we're gonna go over the tools quick about what you need and then we'll get into the install All right guys, tools. So, for the brush bar hardware, you're gonna need two of these 18 mils, whether it's a, two sockets, a socket and a wrench, or whatever, you get the point, just so you can hold both sides while you tighten it down. Um, impacts are nice, but not needed. Now here, I have my eight mil and my setup between the extension and just the socket itself. Um, there were some tight areas, so I use the electric ratchet, but it's totally possible with a regular ratchet. Um, that 8 mil does all the silver bolts for the valence hardware. Um, now, the valence. You're going to need either a sawzall or a jigsaw. If you want, try a different way of cutting it. That's up to you, but for me, the sawzall did a cleaner, nicer cut for me and um sharp i just use a sharpie and a tape measure and cut right down the sharpie and rubbing alcohol takes it um off after you're done if um there's still a little bit of sharpie left on there but um hey that's all the tools you need and now we can get to the install video okay so step one these are the bumper covers which look more like tow hook covers, but these gotta come off first, so they just pop, and you just gotta work it a little by little. And they come off. Same for this side. And what I do on the inside here is I grab this edge and I pull it out a little bit and that gets it to come off. So looking more closely at the cover we just pulled off, the reason you have to pull so much on this one is because you have these two clips and these two clips that are up here holding it firmly in there and you only have one on this side that's why it was so easy. But later in the video the next step are these bolts where a bracket's going to go. It says in the instructions not to put this back, but this kind of looks too open for us. So later in the video, we're going to attempt to notch this area out for the new bracket and reinstall these to have a sleeker look of the vehicle. And hey, watch till the end of the video, see how it comes out. All right, so next step. These two outer bolts, these are the bumper bolts. It says to remove those. I have a half inch impact, but you can easily do this with a half inch socket and a breaker bar. Um, behind it is a retaining plate that's about that big with the uh, welded nuts on it. You have to make sure you hold that because once you take one of these out, it'll just do whatever it wants once you get the other one. So. most of the way out you leave that in there and there you go now you can take them out by hand 
and I'm still holding this and we'll grab the bracket and be right back all right so now that we have the bracket we put the bolt in the bracket Melissa has a spacer you put that on for me now we're gonna go and get the top bolt first she's gonna hold the bracket for me I'm gonna start threading it in by hand as far as I can go And now I'm going to get the lower bolt, make sure everything lines up, and it's threading in. I'm going to use the socket to help me go all right so the instructions say to leave it loose we're gonna leave it loose and we'll move on to the next step hey guys so next step this plastic air dam has to come off while we're uh, putting the lower brackets on so we're gonna go under together <laughs> And all these little silver 10 mil, oh, not 10 mil, sorry, 8 mil bolts have to come off to remove this plastic. So I'll be back when I uh, get that done. Alright guys, we are back under the truck on the passenger side. This is towards the wheel. And this is the side where the bracket's going to bolt onto. Those are the two nuts that you have to remove. They take an 18 millimeter socket, or at least that's what I'm using to fit best for me. Um, so you take those two off and be careful. It's got that um, loose uh, retainer on the inside. So you can hold it from the front below the uh, tow hook and um, then you just follow the instructions and I'll show you installing the bracket once I get both of these loose. Alright, so Melissa's getting the shot to show you guys. My hand is right before this thing reaching up holding the bolt side of this in the frame. You're going to take your little clear plastic retainer and go on the stud that's closer to the engine, like that. Then you're going to take your passenger side bracket and scoot it in like so. And it's on there. Stay put. And then you quickly throw a nut on there and then throw the second nut on there and keep tightening it by hand all right and the bracket looks like that and then we'll just use little old stubby to tighten her down a little bit but it does say not to fully tighten it yet we're just going to make it snug so it doesn't come off too easy all right after a lunch break we're back on this so we got all four of the mounting brackets loosely on there next is the hardware kit that comes with it in there is your allen wrench for that little pocket on the grill guard the rest is all your hardware right here and they give you just enough to do it so 
make sure you don't misplace anything but it also means all these bolts are the same you don't have to worry about what goes where so I got four on this side everything split half and half so when we're both putting the guard on we can both reach easily for the hardware and put it in while we're holding it up so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set y'all down we're gonna grab the grill guard together and get into position and you can watch the shenanigans unfold okay so it took the two of us to put this on um, the way that we did it was we basically laid it on the ground with this part flat and this like leaned it like that way essentially like that way down lifted it straight up and then moved it over and the way that we did the bolts was we put bolt one washer washer there's a lock washer and then nut so you'll do that for this part of the bracket and then for these two on the bottom as well and you'll do that on each side um yeah so we're gonna do that off camera quick and then we're gonna get back into putting the air dam on the valence and once again like i said i am trimming mine so we will go over everything you would do if you trim it or not but we will go back over that in, in a couple minutes all right we're back with the brush bar um it is on the truck now um I had to basically do a lot of little intricate cuts because in the instructions it does not want you to reuse these uh, covers for where the tow hooks are. So for me that's more of a challenge accepted than I'm going to toss those away because in my opinion this turned out better than just looking at all of that so um, there was a lot of little um, a lot of measuring a lot of cutting a lot to get that just right without cutting too big of a hole sorry I didn't get to film it but <laughs> it was tedious but we also took our stock valence and trimmed it down to about the size that the trimmer valence is. And I think it turned out really well because we followed the curves, the upward curve of the bumper on the side instead of having it flat and level. And I think that came out a lot better. So what I did was I measured an inch and a half from the top where it mounts down and just drew a sharpie line I think you can still see some of the sharpie but um, and I followed this curve two inch and a half all the way like I said it was pretty te tedious but in the end I think it came out great and it hides all those fasteners and stuff for the bumper um, I'm not worried about the car catchers because this brush guard it blends right in with it so I'm just gonna leave it for now um, but there you go I mean it's on there and I'm still gonna show you bolting up that side um, I started that side but um, I'll be right back when I get ready to finish bolting this stuff up. But I wanted to catch y'all up. So you're going to pull back. If you did this like me, you're going to pull this back. And then we're going to sneak this little ratchet in there without scratching the paint. I just did it on the other side. There we go. I got it if you need me to. Alright, that's top. And then we got to sneak in the bottom here. Seems to be easier for some reason. Alright, so 
so that's as tight as it's gonna be. And then you can just push that in there. Push the other side in. Alright guys, we're back with the Super Duty. Unfortunately, we had to be somewhere with the truck, so we couldn't finish recording uh, the brush guard install. Um, so we threw it on there and got down the road. But this is what it looks like. So um, where we left off were the brackets down there on the top and the lower lower brackets are right here again these bolts are 18 millimeters just like the other ones uh, these are more accessible so I use my impact and a uh, socket to zip them together um, where you go under where, can you see it yeah up there those I just used the ratchet and an 18 mil and put all my effort into them and uh, that's gonna be tight enough so and that's it that's really all you got to do and you're done this thing's installed and uh, that's about it I mean we're still we're still uh, taking it in and seeing what the next project is for this truck. Um, if you want to see more, uh, headache rack to come, um, bed cover to come, uh, and some more goodies. But like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.